Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best soundbars. Starting at number 5. Sony HTA7000. What you need to know, you might be wondering how there can be a best soundbar for gaming? Well, it comes down to usability with extra devices. If you're a gamer and find yourself with both the PS5 and Xbox Series X, on a large number of TVs, you will often find you only have two HDMI 2.1 ports. One of these will be dedicated to eARC, the HDMI audio channel, leaving you with just one HDMI port for both consoles if you want the full 4K 120Hz experience. What sets the Sony HTA7000 apart from the rest here is that the two HDMI 2.1 ports offer pass-through at 4K 120Hz, which is perfect for gaming but, and support for VRR and ALLM to get the most out of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Audio Performance The HTA7000 delivers excellent, clear dialogue that will suit any video game and movie that need the extra boost in clarity. It also features 360 reality audio music, which gives a room-filling sound when listening to music that's so surreal that it's as if you're standing in the middle of a concert. Coming at number 4. Bose Smart Soundbar. The Bose Smart Soundbar 600 is a fantastic choice if you're looking for a budget soundbar that can really deliver. It pumps out big Dolby Atmos sound, but all from a relatively small package. In fact, there's a lot to love here despite its size. Onboard streaming features, including AirPlay 2 and Chromecast, are plentiful, app-based setup is a breeze and the sound quality is surprisingly powerful. Audio performance, in our review, we noted that dialogue clarity is excellent, and while it doesn't hit the low bass notes that other soundbar systems with an included subwoofer manage, it offers up consistently exciting sound when watching movies and TV. Thanks to two upfiring speakers, you're also getting true immersive audio unlike some other budget bars. Design, at 27 inches wide by 2 inches high and 4 inches deep, it's a fairly sleek and compact design for an all-in-one unit and a perfect choice for smaller homes or screens. While it only has a single HDMI port, it makes up for this by packaging everything into an attractive all-in-one form. Value, this soundbar impressed us in several ways during our testing but its price is what really stood out to us as being excellent value. As one of the few soundbars that sell for under $500 slash £500 slash £700 Australian dollars, it offers a lot more features than the likes of the Sony HTS 2000 at number 3 in this list and Sonos Beam, Gen 2, at number 7 in this list. At number 3. Samsung HWQ990D. Samsung's Q990D flagship soundbar is a complete package for those seeking an uncompromised Dolby Atmos home theater audio experience. With 22 speakers spread across a main soundbar, wireless subwoofer, and two compact wireless surround sound speakers, this 11.1.4 channel system takes immersive audio to the next level for a soundbar, and it also features 4K 120Hz pass-through on its HDMI ports for gaming. Audio performance. Dolby Atmos soundtracks are reproduced with excellent clarity and precision by the Samsung Q990D, putting you right inside the action when watching movies. It also has better controlled bass than its predecessor, the Samsung Q990C, while other parts of the audio range sound well balanced. Samsung's Q Symphony feature is another bonus, adding an extra layer of sound when used with a Samsung TV. Design, with a gray and navy matte finish, the Q990D system has an appealing minimalist look. And while the included subwoofer is on the hefty side, its wireless connection lets it be easily installed anywhere in a room. An LED display is provided on the soundbar for visual feedback, though the mesh grill on the front can make it difficult to see. Number 2 of my list. Sony HTS 2000. When it comes to sound quality and features versus price, we think the Sony HTS 2000 is the best budget choice around. Although it's a little basic in terms of connectivity, the sound you get from this soundbar is impressive for the money and is certainly a good choice for those looking for an upgrade to their TV sound without breaking the bank. 
Audio performance. While the Sony HTS 2000 sound isn't the biggest, the sound you do get for your money is impressive. Clear dialogue levels and a spacious, virtual surround sound are two of the HTS 2000's highlights. Bass levels are also punchy enough, but it's the Sony HTS 2000's ability to reproduce Dolby Atmos effects that's surprising. It's not going to beat a soundbar with height channels, but for a 3.1 soundbar, it offers plenty. Design, design-wise, the Sony HTS 2000 feels and looks more expensive than it is, with a solid, mesh metal grille on the front and a sturdy black plastic casing housing the speakers. The soundbar also produces visual feedback to remote control commands, something rare on budget soundbars. And number 1. Samsung HWQ800C The Samsung HWQ800C is a knockout when it comes to delivering a powerful, room-filling sound for a reasonably affordable price. With support for spatial audio formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X, it has an impressive soundstage thanks to two upfiring drivers that deliver exceptional height, those with a Samsung TV can also use its Q-Symphony tech. However, despite there being support for a variety of music files, including high-res formats like FLAC, we don't think it's best suited for playing music instead, look at the Sonos Beam, Gen 2, at number 7 in this list. For everything else, it's a definite crowd-pleaser. Audio Performance when we heard the Q800C in action, the first thing we immediately noticed was its powerful sound, which made various spatial effects extremely convincing, especially for a soundbar that does not have rear speakers, although there is the option to add these to create even more immersive audio. It particularly shines when watching movies and TV shows thanks to excellent channel steering, deep bass and clear dialogue. Design, in terms of looks, the HWQ800C may not be the most visually appealing bar, it looks a lot like any other regular sound bar, but there is something particularly attractive about its grilled finish, which reminds us of an industrial aesthetic. Although it's heavy compared to to other sound bars, it's a reassuring heaviness that gives it that sense of quality. At 43 inches wide, it fits well exactly with a 50-inch TV and would look great with 55-inch plus-size TVs. Value, this is an excellent value soundbar. It may not carry the same power and soundstage as the Samsung HWQ900C, which is at number 3 in this list, but it's a fraction of the price and the rear optional speakers will certainly add to the already fantastic 5.1.2 channels in the HWQ800C itself. When you add all that together, it's no surprise why we think this is the best soundbar for most people. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.